everyone here in Orlando, and good morning, and or good evening for those online, wherever you may be. Uh, my name is Chris Piasecki. I'm a Microsoft MVP from Edmonton, a city in Canada, in case you may not have Woo! noticed by my attire that I'm Canadian. I'm currently a Power Platform Architect and Senior Consultant working at CGI. And so for my demo today, I'm just going to be giving you some short, quick, rapid-fire tips that will help improve the user experience in model-driven apps. I'll find that some of these tips are not obvious to new makers because a lot of the options are still kind of hidden away in the class or user experience, and it's hard to kind of get to them. So I hope that at least some of these tips are useful to some of you out there, and you may, may learn something. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump into the demo. So when it comes to lookup controls on model-driven forms, one default behavior you may notice is that when you click into the lookup control, you actually will see a list of recently viewed records from that lookup table. Now, a lot of users will find this distracting or confusing because it has nothing to do with the record they want to search for. Um, so that brings us to the first tip I have for you is how we can actually go and disable the recently used items. And to do this, we simply need to just hop over to the modern form designer. We need to just find our lookup control. In this case, it's the primary contacts. We'll go ahead and select it, and we'll have an option on the side here to the actually simply disable um, recently used items. So we just need to check that box, and then we'll go ahead and uh, publish our form. We'll hop back over to our model-driven app and refresh the page. And now when you actually go ahead and click in the lookup control, you'll see that those recently viewed items are no longer there. So you can now freely search for the record you want without those items distracting you. Now, when it comes to working with related data on a model-driven form, you'll notice that every form by default, you'll get this related tab. And this allows you to view related records from any one-to-many or many-to-many -many relationship. Now, however, if you have a lot of relationships, this list can become quite large and quite cluttered and distracting, and some of them might not be really relevant to the users. So the second tip I have for you is how we can actually go ahead and pick and choose items that we want to hide from this related items tab. So to do that, we're going to have to switch back over to our form designer, but the problem is we're not able to change this from the modern form designer, so we actually have to switch over to the classic experience to change this configuration. So we're going to go ahead and click the switch to classic, which will open a new tab. And so across the top ribbon, we have this navigation. We just simply need to select that, which will allow you to modify this common tab you see on the left-hand side, which will show all of those items in the related tab you see on the model-driven form. So if we actually like hop back, you see any related, but it's also called common, so that's why that's called that. So we just simply can select the item that we want to remove. In this case, we'll choose the social profiles. We just select it. We just need to click the remove button on the top of the ribbon. And then we just really simply need to save and publish the form. We'll hop back over to our model-driven app and then refresh the page. Come on, we can do it. There we go. And now you'll notice that the social profiles table is no longer showing in the related tab. So that was uh, tip number two. Nice and easy. Now the third tip I have for you is related to the second one in that sometimes users may just not want to see the related ta tab whatsoever. The good news is this is also very easy to turn off. And to do that, we're going to also need to once again jump back over to the classic experience because it's not available in the modern form designer. And so we're going to hop back over to the classic experience. <clears throat> and then we're just going to select the form properties across the top ribbon. We'll hop over to the display tab. And then underneath, there'll be a section on your navigation. Basically, they uncheck the show related items. And you just simply need to save and publish the form. And then once again, we'll refresh the, the page in our model-driven app. And just like that, you'll no longer see the related tab showing up. So that was tip number three. Now, 
Jumping back to lookup, so one another default behavior that you may notice is that when you actually select a the lookup record, it'll actually navigate you away from your current form, what you're doing, losing your current context, which can be quite unproductive. A similar behavior, if you want to create a new record from a lookup control, is that there will be two behaviors. If you happen to have Quick Create enabled for that table, it'll open up a Quick Create form in a side dialog you see here. But if you don't have Quick Create enabled, it'll actually open up and navigate you away to a new form, once again, losing that current context, providing an unproductive user experience, which is not uh, great for your users. Well, the good news is we can actually do some simple configurations to actually open up a dialog rather than navigating it, getting it away. And so to do that, we can do this configuration in the modern um, designer. So we'll click back over to our lookup control and just below the disable re recently used items that we put in tip number one, we have these two new options and one is um, use main form dialog for creating and use main form dialog for editing. So we can enable one or both of these options by simply just toggling those and then just publishing the form. And then we'll hop back over to our model driven app and refresh the page once again. And now when we actually go into create a new record from a lookup control, you'll see now that instead of navigating away, you'll actually be presented with the main form dialog for that lookup record where you can go ahead and create the record without losing your context. Similar behavior if you now go ahead and select to edit an existing record, It'll also open that up in a main form dialog where you can easily edit the field, field and see the full details of the record. So again, much more productive user experience. They haven't lost that current context. And so that was tip number four. So this brings us to our fifth and final tip I have for you today. And a lot of you may be already familiar with this feature, but I think it's such a nice feature that it's worth special mentioning. So for the longest time, we've been able to define what are called quick view forms that allows us to view related information from a lookup directly on the form. However, a big limitation of this is that the fields have only been able to be read only. So if you want to go and modify that data, you have to, again, navigate away to that related record to modify the, the details. Well, the great news is now, pretty recently, there was added a feature called a form component control, which allows you to embed a main form from a lookup table um, directly inside of the main form. And assuming you have the correct privileges to edit the record, you can actually edit those related details in line in the form without having to navigate away. So in order to demonstrate that, I've created a simple main form dialog similar to the quick view that just has a couple of attributes, the email and the phone tab. And then we're to, to actually use the form component control, we're going to have to flip over to the classic form designer experience once again to configure this. So we'll go ahead and do that. And so we're going to just add another instance of the primary contacts lookup field. So we're just going to check the um, you know, view only um, unused items. We'll find primary contact and drag that onto the form. Then we just simply need to double click to open up the properties of that lookup. And from, and from there, we just need to go into the controls tab, add a control, and there'll be a form component control that you see. We'll select the um, um, render in the web navigation, and then we also just need to simply provide a value for the forms property. And what we need to provide is actually just a little bit of an XML snippet, and I'll kind of briefly show what that looks like. So you can see here that there's two pieces of information that you'll need to modify. There's the Entity name, which will you'll have to provide the schema name of the table for the lookup that you want to modify. And the second piece of information is you need the unique identifier of the, the main form dialog that you want to embed in the control. And you can retrieve the identifier of the form through the URL of the modern designer, as you can see here, kind of after the and entity name, you can see kind of form edits and grab that unique identifier. So you just pop that in. We'll hit OK, and then we're going to go ahead and save and publish the form once more. And we'll hop back over to our model-driven app and refresh the page. Okay. 
And so now you can see here above our uh, quick view form, we now have the embedded main form control. And as you can see, we can actually now edit these fields directly. And when you go ahead and save the form, it'll save the changes from not only the, you know, the main record, but also do a save from the related record as well. And so just like that, you can now much more easily work with related data on your model-driven forms. And so with that being said, um, I'm just going to wrap it up for me. Um, I hope you find at least a couple of these tips useful. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, feel free to connect with me if you want to chat further. All right. Thanks, everyone. Woo! Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.